Well, yeah. Hello, everyone. Papa Blue Shirt here. Exciting day. Fixing to go over and get my mini split to put in my grow room. Getting a Mr. Cool mini split. I'm getting it from for Christmas. She's buying it for me for Christmas. So I can be nice and cool and nice and warm in the wintertime. Anyways, that's what I'm doing today. Well, there they are. The back of my 2002 <laughs> town and country. Slide in here real nice. And now I'm gonna go down and try to install it. <laughs> Let's take and see how this goes. Okay, here's my setup here. It's gonna come out up there, right below that, where that hole is with the drill. I'm hoping right in that board there. I'd like to come out and not have to mess with that metal there. But we'll see how that goes. And I originally was going to put it over here on the ground, you know. But uh, I thought, well, I got a concrete pad over here. Why don't I see if I can put it there? And I thought, oh, yeah, that'd be cool. And then I looked up and behold, there's a wire there. <laughs> and this wire runs up across this area here and comes down to cut off. <laughs> so I should be able to just tap into this right here. And uh, I'll have to check the wires, make sure everything's up to where I need to be, but yeah. So maybe this will end up being really easy. That'd be nice. But anyways, I'm going to run it across this beam right here. Come down. And come right down in here somewhere. And this pad is big enough, so if I want to do another one, I can do another one on this other side. Well, that'll be neat. So let's get going on that. Um, it's not real. These aren't real heavy. But uh, the bad part of it is, is we opened them, had to open them there to make sure there was no damage. They say, you know, it's up to you, but it's your decision. If you go and you take it out of there and it is damaged, then you won't be able to do nothing about it. So I decided to open them. But when you do, the straps on the boxes, this one's no longer a box. So going to make it a little harder to uh, install, but we'll get it here. I brought a fan out to blow the exhaust out of here from the lawnmower and from the bobcat. Had a couple of good friends of mine this week that uh, they work in a garage a lot and they both got overcome by carbon monoxide and ended up at the hospital. So I don't want to add my little adventure to that. So try to blow this out here I'm gonna set this in there and then I'm gonna leave it sit for a while make sure it's all out of there before I do any work in there all right well here's where I'm gonna install it right in here somewhere this is the room I'm gonna be cooling this is right in the middle and uh, I assume that's probably the best place to put it <laughs> Um, probably the better place to be on the end so it would blow all the way down but uh, the front is the doors and the, and the back is the jungle so it's going to go on the side here um, the issue that I have here is this pole building was added onto so there's V trusses that go like this and uh, this is generally how far down they go is right about here like I said, I'm going to try to keep above that siding out there 
here's where I that drill was drilled through. So this is a small piece of plywood here. I could take this off and I really don't want to because it's blown insulation, but I may have to just to see how far down I can come. But let's get going on that. All right, let's go ahead and see what the things look like here. So if you're wondering if this will survive being shut to you, and this looks like it's really packed really good. Let's take it out here. Here's the cable set. One end's already hooked up. Just like I've seen in all the other videos. All the parts. Oh, they even have a mini stat. Wow, they even have a mini mini thermometer you can mount on the wall somewhere. That's cool. to hang the remote. The smart controller. That's what I'm looking for right here. And it's really neat that they don't have this attached to the box. A lot of companies, they make the box out of this. You know, so you have to cut off the box and try to figure it all out that way. But yeah. All right, let's get going on this. Here's what I'm hoping to prevent with my new mini split. You can see all this moisture. Every morning it ends up like this. And uh, so hopefully we can control the moisture better. It works real good in the, in the summertime when I can have my air on, but when it's too cool like this, the air won't come on. Hello everyone, Papa Bouchard here. I quit last night because it was getting dark and I didn't want to get sprayed by a skunk. I smelled the skunk out there. <laughs> I didn't want to be out there with that. So I come back this morning and and uh, we'll continue on here. Here's what it looks like on the outside. So far, everything going good there. Um, the major problem I'm having right now is I got no power to this box. So what I thought was going to be an easy easy hookup might end up being a pain in the butt because my garage is all finished and so now I have to try to track down the wires. But I'm gonna do the outside work here so in case I get stuck in the dark again, I'll have this all done anyway. Get going here. Object now is to run this wire right down this beam and end up over here. See if we can do that. We 
Yeah, I think I got it now. What was happening is the pipes were bottoming out on this thing here. So it wouldn't stay all the way down. When I got outside and climbed up on the ladder, I could see that it was there was no room there. So I come in and move this up about half an inch. So that should take care of it. Going to continue on our working on our Mr. Cool mini kit, and what I'm going to do today is I am going to see if we can wrap that and make it look really good and have it be protected. Um, I've had problems up underneath here with uh, squirrels, and uh, they uh, they they chew up everything they can get a hold of, they chew up the wires and. I had problems with wires being chewed up and uh, just anything. They get like, chewed in the end of the building. And I've had that all blocked off now for about a year and a half. And it seemed to solve the problem with the squirrels. They don't seem to be up here anymore, but I just want to make sure. <laughs> I don't want them chewing them into anything. So the idea I've come up with, the first idea I had, the first idea I had was to use this, uh, this a vinyl downspout and but when i was there i noticed they had these and i thought maybe i could use it and i said no i think this will work better uh, but i wanted to keep one of these on hand here in case i wanted to use it for, for a different project these are only like five dollars i think 5.98 or something these are 15 dollars at lowe's uh, but my idea is cut along the top here and then just slide that up over the slide that up over the, the 2 by 12 show you here as you can see here I got this attached to the bottom of the 2 by 12 so that's what I'm gonna work on I'm also gonna work on the drain hose I'm gonna put the drain hose in a PVC and run that across there that'll give it a give it the better drainage and uh, it's a little easier to work with than that little pipe they give you Yep, I had up there, they had chewed through the wires. And over here, I just did, I disconnected the other ones that went to the other light. The other light, the top of it's all chewed off, so I just disconnected it. You don't have to do something, but you can see, they were getting in up here. And what I'd done is I put, I put wire all along there, and I boarded up real good. They were actually getting in my building and causing a mess in the walls and stuff. Other than a few, birds that I see up there, a bird nest. Uh, I think that solved my problem. So, alrighty, let's go continue on here. See if we can get that PBC up there. Here's what it looks like. I put that pipe in the bottom and that'll give it all support. And then over here, when I made a transition, I just put a piece of PVC there too. So it won't be pushing up against one spot. And then I run it over here. And run it down. And I tried to make the pipe, you know, about six inches off the ground. So 
Didn't want it too close to the ground because maybe a mouse would try to go up it. But being this high, I don't think they will. I'll research that out maybe, but that's what they did on our house when, they, when the professionals installed it. So good enough for them, good enough for me. Now I'm gonna start it this up and see if it drains. And it's really neat, I can do it from out here because of the app. <laughs> See in the dark. That's what I got done so far. Closing it all in. It's kind of fun over there, but get too dark to work now. Alrighty, well that's what it looks like. Got it all sealed off. And uh I just wrap this with the stuff they give you. I don't know if this should be supported or not. No one's going to be back here, but maybe I'll put a board up there or something. Maybe. We'll see. But there it is. Real happy with the way it turned out. I wouldn't even have probably covered if it wasn't for the squirrels. But squirrels, they can do a lot of damage. I don't want them to be getting up up there. I don't think they'll bother it down here. Like I said, I think they're all gone, but just in case. And they got that putty that you put in the hole there, and I put insulation in there first. I've never seen no one put insulation in those holes. I don't know what the, you know, just take some fiberglass and just throw it in there. And then put the putty on the top of it. It gives the, the putty something to rest up against. <laughs> But there it is, and it's cooling really nice and taking all the moisture out. You can see back here, I got my water coming out here, and I kind of dug a little ditch there so it, most of the water rolls outside. So we'll keep an eye on it. But this thing is on right now, really quiet, you can hardly hear it on. I wanted to show you how I cut the vinyl, the vinyl gutters. It's a little hard to do with tin snips because it's hard to get in the right position. But I had this uh, metal shears, electric metal shears, cut it like butter. I run right down the rib. Really easy. So if you want to make it easy. Really made short work of it. Especially when I had to cut it and cut it again. Because I cut it once and it was didn't cut off enough. So then I'd go back and I'd have to cut. If you had to do that all by hand, that'd take you a lot of time. So it worked out really good for us. Alrighty, I'll continue on here. There's what happens when you use your mini split in the winter time for air condition. It gets all full of ice. Hopefully it didn't break my pipe. Because it was pretty full. Hopefully. Hopefully it didn't. Well, there it is. Oh, it's nice and cool. I'll just run the heat. I think I can heat my whole garage with this thing. This is only 12,000. Oh, it went pretty good. Most of the problems I had was with that wire. I'm trying to find that wire where it come in the wall. Oh, believe it or not, I can feel the air all the way down here. Of course, it's not real hot in here right now, but I can feel it. I think it's going to be just right for what I want. And then I'm going to get a 36. Oh yeah, I can feel it really good right here. 
Then I'm gonna get a 36 for the whole shop. Anyways, it's installed and it's running. I'll tidy up everything tomorrow. I must have went up and down the ladder and up and down the stairs probably 40, 50 times a day. <laughs> so I'm a little sore. It's up there. It's up there. Yeah. Looking good up there. Forty-two. Forty-one. Forty. Still going down. Thirty-nine. Thirty-eight. This is gonna be sweet. I'm gonna have a nice grow room up here. Nice big grow room, all climate controlled and humidity. Oh, this is gonna be sweet. <laughs> like a kid in a candy store. Woo!